Hi friends, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is classes of hypolipidemic drugs. Um, just I will dis discuss the important points related to USMLE step 1 uh, examination. So sit with me and um, you will definitely will go out with some knowledge and some experience or uh, some information that will help you for your uh, coming uh, USMLE step 1 uh, examination. Okay guys, uh, before starting this, I would request uh, you to subscribe to our channel. Our channel name is All or None Law and uh, please tell your friends to subscribe because we need, uh, we require your subscriptions. Okay, please subscribe. Our statins, we have a statins, fibrates, niacin, then uh, the other drugs, right? So just I will discuss briefly about this regarding the individual and the important drugs, I will I have discussed in a different video. If there is any important video or any important uh, drug to be uploaded, definitely I will upload on that. Okay. Just my aim is you should concentrate on the USMLE step one. That's it. Okay. Uh, statins are particularly well su uh, suited for uh, lowering LDL, the cholesterol with the strongest links to vascular diseases. In studies using standard doses, statins have been found to lower LDL. So, okay. So, they can ask you which of the following drug is more effective in uh, reducing LDL. Statins, fibrates, niacin, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, depending on the specific okay, there is a risk of severe muscle damage, myopathy and rhabdomyolysis with the statins. Remember in US mill examination, they give the history and the patient is taking statins and they come up with a uh, next day with a, or after a few weeks that they have the pain in the muscle or the hematuria, blah, 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 or, or hyperkalemia. So think of these things. Okay. This, it could be due to the statins. Okay. Uh, fibrates are indicated for hypertriglyceridemia. I recently uploaded a video on uh, um, uh, fibrates, okay, uh, that is a gem for Brazil. Uh, th there you can see th I have discussed the indications, okay. If LDL is increased, uh, cholesterol is normal, which drug should be used? If cholesterol is increased, triglycerides are normal, which drug should be used? If triglycerides are increased, cholesterol is increased, which drug is the first line? That's that's how I discussed. Okay, just go and uh, watch my video on a gem for Brazil, gem for Brazil or gem for Brazil, whatever you call. Okay, fibers typically lower triglycerides by 20 to 50 percent. Low level of the uh, good cholesterol HDL is also increased. Fibers may decrease LDL, though generally to a lesser degree than the statins. Remember, this is a point you should know. Though they decrease the fibers, also decrease the LDL, but the amount of uh, LDL decreased by the statins is uh, really more than the fibers. There is a risk of severe muscle damage also, but compared to the fibrates, uh, statins causes more severe, uh, what you call, uh, myopathy. Okay. Niacin, like fibrates, is also well suited for lowering triglycerides. It may also lower LDL by 55 to 25 percent and increase HDL. Niacin may cause hyperglycemia and may also cause liver damage. Look at this. Niacin may cause hyperglycemia. So, it should be cautiously used in the patients of diabetes mellitus. Okay. Uh, the niacin derivatives, uh, SAP mox is also associated with a modest decrease in the LDL. Bile acid sequestrants or resins are particularly effective for lowering LDL-C by sequestering the cholesterol-containing bile acids released in the intestine, preventing their reabsorption from the intestine. It decreases the LDL by 15-30% to 30 or, and raises HDL by 3-5%. to 5 It has a little effect on a triglyceride but can cause a slight increase. Bile acid sequestrants may cause gastrointestinal problems and may also reduce the absorption of other drugs and the vitamins from the gut. So these are the very important points about the, these uh, drugs. Okay, azentimab is a selective inhibitor of a diet uh, dietary of a dietary cholesterol absorption. Okay, um, um, lomitabam is a microsomal triglyceride transfer protein inhibitor. Or list that it is a primary function is to prevent absorption of about uh, thirty percent of the fat from the human diet, thereby reducing uh, caloric intake. Is by inhibiting pancreatic lipase an enzyme that breaks down the triglyceride in the intestine. Okay, these are the important points about the uh, classification of um, uh, 